Doctors at Stanford Hospital are using a powerful new technology to help men battle a common form of cancer. And as ABC 7 News anchor Cheryl Jennings reports, it's allowing them to make decisions with more confidence than they've ever had before. Road biking is a passion for Bay Area businessman Alan Talansky. And a big bump in the road six years ago didn't change that. That's when routine tests revealed evidence of early stage prostate cancer. A lot of people said I should go for surgery. A lot of doctors said I should go for surgery. Every type of surgery, every type of treatment has ancillary effects. And those ancillary effects change your lifestyle, like it or not. Hey, Mr. Talansky. Alan opted for active surveillance instead of surgery. It's an increasingly popular option for men with slow-growing prostate cancer. Dr. Jeffrey Son says the strategy relies on regular testing to spot any changes or acceleration in the disease. And now he says Stanford is taking that technology a step further by using a combination of ultrasound and MRI imaging. In the example of Mr. Tolansky, whose PSA continues to rise, we're concerned there may be something aggressive. So the MRI allows us to look for abnormal areas, and then with a targeted biopsy, we can place needles in there to really find out, is this an aggressive cancer, and should he be treated? Or is it safe for him to stay on active surveillance? Dr. Son's team uses the combined images as a map to plan a series of biopsies targeting the areas of concern. Once the three-dimensional model is in place, the system, known as Artemis, helps guide the surgeon. Dr. Son collects samples over the course of about half an hour that will be analyzed in the lab. And that gives doctors a far more detailed look at the level of cancer in a patient's body. If somebody has a highest level of suspicion, it's often on a scale of one to five. If someone has a four or even a five, meaning very concerning, there's an extremely high chance that that is going to be a prostate cancer and more than that, an aggressive cancer that probably should be treated. In Alan Tolansky's case, the biopsy results did indicate that his cancer has now become more aggressive, meaning that active surveillance may no longer be a viable option. Still, he's grateful that the precision monitoring allowed him to safely postpone treatment for years while enjoying the sports he loves. So I was able to continue my lifestyle, uh, continue without that extraordinary surgery you would have to go through. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News. Up next.